What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really cool video or slash tutorial on how to get your engine DJ library set up, how to get songs transferred from your media library from different sources into your engine DJ software. That way you can move it to the Prime 4, Prime 2, SC5000, 6000, things like that. That's what the engine DJ software will help you get done and get it, get them into those products that you guys have out there. So I had a question on this. The easiest way to, to, sh to answer the question is just to make a little tutorial on it. So hopefully this is helpful to at least somebody out there. Uh, I'll do the best I can and show you the best I can with the uh, things that I know how to do. There might be some other videos out there more helpful, but hopefully this helps a few people out there. So really quick, thanks for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you guys like review videos, that's what I do on this channel i like to get every item i can get my hands on purchase everything myself so i bring you a basic consumer review positives negatives do all the research so you don't have to and then leave you leave you links so you can decide if you want some of these products in the future thank you all for tuning in dj martini midwest reviews please like subscribe and share with others so other people can Check out my channel and check out my reviews as well. I have so much content coming to you this summer uh, with a lot more products. So thank you for tuning in this tutorial. This is from the Windows perspective, Windows 11 I'll be using on this particular video. But it's the same for Windows 10, uh, but it will be a Windows perspective and not from a Mac. I don't have a lot, of, I don't have a Mac, so uh, I can't show you that uh, side of it. But uh, pretty similar... Uh, for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thank you and let's get into the video. All right, so let's open our engine DJ software, which is right here. Make sure you guys have the newest software. I think it's 2.2.2 right now. And to get that, you would just have to go to engine DJ. It, it will cue you for anything that is an update and then it'll take you to the page anyways. So it's pretty simple to always update and keep your software updated because it will take you there automatically. If it does have an update, it will prompt you to update. And then you just go to the update, download the update, and run it, and it will update. So that's not too hard to get done. So here's your engine library. It is the first little music note here that is your actual engine library. So this is the collection that I have on here right now. And then this is history, this is Apple, uh, this is your Apple iTunes library. Now, if you, on this particular computer for me, I don't have Apple uh, on this computer that I'm working with iTunes, so I don't have a library, but I do have a Serato library, and it will, depending on how big your library is, take a little while. All you have to do is, uh, just like it says on Apple, hit update, and it will show all your Serato collection and everything that you have in there. So you can move things around or send playlists from your Serato library to your uh, whatever kind of memory device, uh, SD card or hard drive or whatever you like to move uh, those playlists to, you can. So that's a nice extra feature. And then this is your actual file folders. So this has all your drives right here. So this has all the drives that you have on your computer. Uh, right here and you can use this as well to move items notice I hit this drives button on the bottom to move items to the SSD card or thumb drive or whatever you have uh, flash drive to move to your go or your prime 4 or prime 2 uh, but in that case if I was using the prime 4 or prime 2 I'd probably use the sync manager uh, would make that a little easier and I'll show you how to do that in a minute here but to add files to your collection here you can uh, add make them playlist or just add to collection uh, if you already have them labeled and most people do if you have them in your uh, file setup here so notice I have my music here I also have music in my music and videos down here in my other drive but say I wanted to add this hot tracks to my collection here all you have to do is uh, you do notice I have two windows open here, so I have my music, and all you have to do is drop and drag. So if I grab this and drag it to my collection, it will automatically put it in there. 
I'm not going to do that quite yet. Uh, or you can open a playlist. You can hit this plus button, make a playlist, and then drag it into that playlist. It just depends on what you want to do. If you want to name it a certain thing or those types of things, I want to go ahead. If you have a mouse and you right click on this playlist here, and I'm going to go back up. There we go. Now, sorry, yeah, if you right click on the playlist, you can remove it. So I'll show you how to remove it there as well. And then let's open this up again and let's go ahead and drag these hot tracks into my library at the beginning. So I'll bring that to the top and then I'll just add it to my collection and boom, my hot tracks are loading and it's loading all that. So that's how you would do. Yes. That's how you would add all these. And you can like, uh, if you want to, added a bunch of files, say like my M drive has all these files. If you wanted to add a bunch of music, you can, all you do is click on whatever you want and then you could, you could add all these at the same time. Uh, so right now it's adding these hot tracks to my engine library and it's done. It's pretty quick. You can see that I have all my hot tracks in there. It's as easy as that. Uh, so let's go to the drives here while it's adding these hot tracks. And so say I wanted to add this. So that's how you add the music to the engine DJ software. Now, how do you move it to the hard drives or flash drives? So you go to drives here, you would plug in your hard drive or your flash drive thumb drive, and it'll show up here. So these are the actual file system so this is my c drive this is my m drive um so this is the one that i would want to transfer to this is one and it is in a fat 32 file format so make sure you format it to fat 32 and then it's the same thing so say i want to add these hot tracks to my prime go i can just drop and drag it in there okay that is one way to do it uh, you'd want to go to the top here drop and drag it into the collection and it will put it in as a playlist just like uh, I just moved it into engine DJ or you could use the sync manager and it's gonna mark all these so you make sure at the top you can uncheck all these and notice it shows uh, my prime go device and how much is available all that kind of stuff now you see the new folder in here which is my hot tracks and I can click that and it'll calculate how much space is needed to export it to that uh, prime go SSD and then once so it's a gig and then once I'm ready to export it to this drive if I wanted other uh, files to go in here as well I could click those and you know it'll Put all those files in here but I already have that one in here so I don't need that one so just you know like I said so then when you're ready you just go ahead and you're gonna move it now with the drives you could just drop and drag it in here so it's as easy as that but if you don't have if you have this plugged in to your prime 4 or prime 2 that that might have a hard drive in it already then uh, I don't think you can do that on the Prime 2, but on the Prime 4, it definitely has a hard drive spot. So uh, I usually do, I usually export it to the drive. That's just the easiest way, but you can drop and drag some things too. So, so we'll go ahead and export this to the drive. Uh, yes, if I had some similar tracks in there, it's going to overwrite them, but it's still going to put this in as the hot tracks. Uh, folder. So I might have had a folder that might have had some of these tracks in it. And it's going to go over override them and then still leave a hot tracks folder. So, so it might take a little bit depending on what kind of laptop you have and your performance, all that kind of stuff to transfer the songs over. But it is going to transfer over all the metadata. So you know the length of the song, BPM, key, everything that it figured out in Engine DJ. It's going to transfer that over to. Uh, your SSD or your flash drive, all that kind of great stuff. So once it has exported, all you have to do is eject it, and then you can plug it straight into your 
uh, Prime 2, Prime Go, and you're good to go. That's how you move the music over. And that is also how you put the music into Engine DJ, is just drop and drag. It's that easy to get done. You can still do things in the background while it's doing that. Uh, you can say right here that it's exporting. Like I said, so if you want to put things into the engine library, you just open the engine library at the top here. Open your second screen with your file explorer where you have your files. Go to your files and then drop and drag into your collection up here. Drop, and then it's going to add that. You can open a playlist too and drop it on the playlist. However you like to do it, you can. You can do individual songs and open and just bring one song into a playlist. Um, you can do all kinds of things, so you can do that as well. So it just depends on how you want to get it done. If you have multiple tracks, like I said, drop and hold folders is great to do. If you have a single song that you want to just open, uh, say you want to, you just want to drag one track in there, then you just grab it, drag one track over here, and you could do that as well. So it's pretty easy to get your library into engine, the engine library. Like I said, especially when you can just uh, mark, uh, mark multiple, like if you wanted to put all these in at the same time, you can, you know, shift control and mark them all and then drag them all over at the same time. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty easy. Right now I'm moving those files and exporting them to my SSD here for my Prime Go. And as soon as it's done doing that, I will let you know and wrap this video up. Just a quick, easy tutorial on how to get your files into Engine DJ software. All right, so that has finished. You can see that my tracks got transferred over to my collection here. So there's my hot tracks now in that collection. So they are transferred over. So all you have to do is go ahead and hit this eject button. You can pick preferences for the drive as well, which will go straight into your Prime 4 or Prime Go or whatever you're using. So that's cool too. That's going to save those preferences for you. But we're good. And all you have to do is hit eject. And boom. Now you can eject your, your hard drive and you can take it to your Prime Go, plug it in, and your new tracks will be there ready for you to get DJ in. So pretty sweet. It's pretty simple to use. All drop and drag for most part. And uh, hopefully this is helpful to somebody out there. So thank you so much for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest reviews and tutorials right here on my channel. If you guys want more tutorials like this or different things, let me know what we need help with and I will do my best to help you. Thank you and talk to you later.